Holy shit, Leaf fans, it actually happened. Hall of Famer, Hart Trophy winner, and all-around good guy Jumbo Joe Thornton is finally coming home to play for the Toronto Maple Leafs, his hometown team. Kind of. He was born in London, Ontario, which is two hours from Toronto, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so Joe Thornton and the Maple Leafs have been linked for years now. And perhaps there's no better time than the present to insert his jumbo ass into the locker room. Because as a lot of fans know, the Leafs got some character issues. Their leadership is soft, and they got a lot of growing up to do. Yeah, there's some rumors floating around right now that the Maple Leafs playoff bubble was apparently a bit of a joke. The kids spent most of their time playing video games. And according to one ex-player who didn't want to sign an extension with the team, we think it was Kyle Clifford, they treated the whole thing like it was one giant vacation. Now, granted, these were just rumors, but anyone who's a Leaf fan knows that there probably is at least some element of truth to this. So what's the quick fix? Let's go out and sign the second oldest player in the league. Surely he'll whip the boys into shape and lead by example. Hallelujah, Leaf fans. All of your problems are solved. Plan the parade. Not so fast. Many hockey fans will remind us that Jumbo Joe is kind of a perennial loser who has a tendency to disappear in playoffs sometimes when it matters most. And at age 40, he kind of looks like he's skating in molasses. He will not help the Leafs advance any further than they are normally accustomed to which is not advancing at all. The team hasn't been out of the first round since 2004. Now, now, hold on a second, hockey fans. This is still Jumbo Joe Thornton we're talking about here. The guy's got a thousand apples, for Christ's sake. He's one of the greatest passers in NHL history, period. And I don't care what anybody says, but the hands are always one of the last things to go on an NHL player. You bet your ass he's going to make an impact on that Leafs power play that has a plethora of shooting talent. And yes, while it may be tough to watch Joe Thornton skate some nights, don't worry. He can still hold his own playing 12 minutes a night against an opposing team's bottom six forward group. Also, do not forget that Jumbo Joe is just one NHL season removed from a 50-point campaign in which he helped lead San Jose to the third round of the playoffs in which he had 10 points in 19 playoff games. Thornton's got gas left in the tank, especially when you take into account the COVID layoff. Remember, San Jose didn't make the playoffs this year, meaning Thornton will have almost 10 months in between playing NHL games to rejuvenate and get healthy. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if we saw flashes of the old Jumbo Joe Thornton here in Toronto, but then again, it wouldn't really surprise me either if he got hurt and spent most of his Leafs career on the IR. After all, he is 40 and Dr. Nick Riviera has operated on his knees many Many, many times now, but you can bet your ass the Leafs will load manage him the same way the Raptors did with Kawhi Leonard. But hey, regardless, at the end of the day, whatever happens, you signed a Hall of Famer, a former Hart Trophy winner, a gray bearded beauty who has captained two separate NHL teams and won two gold medals at the Olympics for Canada, coming into your room on a one year 700k league min deal. There's no risk here, it's all reward. I will also remind you that the last time the Maple Leafs won a Stanley Cup was 1967. They did so on the ice of their old rink. Maple Leaf Gardens, which closed in 1999. Who was the last active player in the NHL to score a goal at Maple Leaf Gardens? It was Joe Thornton. That is exactly the type of hockey god magic this Toronto Maple Leafs club needs right now. Also, do not forget who Toronto's daddy is in the playoffs right now. It's the Boston Bruins who drafted Joe Thornton in 1997, made him captain, and then traded him in the same year he went on to lead the league in points. If Toronto wants to win the Stanley Cup next year, they're going to have to get by Boston at some point. You think Jumbo Joe's going to have a chip on his shoulder when he plays his former team? Do you think he's going to help the boys get ready in the locker room and help set the tone to take on the big bad Bruins? Yes, and yes, that is exactly why the Maple Leafs went out and got him. And hey, for Leaf fans, if they beat the Bruins, that's pretty much like winning the Stanley Cup. Toronto, good move.